Riverside Dragway just outside of Shelby, North Carolina. This is the final race for the Southeast Gassers Association in 2024. And this is coverage of AGAS on Monday Morning Racer. I'm Lee Kraft, and you're about to see round two of eliminations. Your number one qualifier was Ben Christopher and Todd Blackwell was able to pick up a round win. We're gonna chat with Greg Steltz though. Greg Steltz got an important round win here at Shadyside. They've been trying to go for that world record, but round wins and world records certainly go hand in hand. Greg, as you're getting ready over there, a round win here at Shadyside, I know that's got to, well, spur you on to go into competition further and nab one before the end of the year. Yeah, 100%, we're, we're super uh, focused right now. Chase is just a tick faster than us, but I'm going to treat a heck out of him, so we got him. <laughs> Love the jawing that Greg Stelz does here in the Southeast Gasser Association. Great guy, makes it a lot of fun. Round two of eliminations here on Monday Morning Racer is next. The strict nine potion for Ben Christopher, number one qualifier, was Rob Walden in his Willis. Picked up a win going into the semifinals. Uh, Rob, earlier this year, you said you were going to yank this car out of A-Gas. You've stayed in it, worked some things out. What has been the journey to get this car to perform straighter? Well, we've had some air issues. We did a little aerodynamic work in the back back there. but. We are, this is the last race for the car. We're retiring it after this and we're going to build a super stock car and we're gonna run super stock next year. So we're hoping to finish on, finish on a, go out on top. 
certainly an opportunity to do that, and we know you'll be a tough competitor in Superstock as well. In a shocker in the second round of eliminations, Chase Howard is declared the winner over Greg Steltz. You turned on the red light, but Greg did the worst in drag racing and crossed the line. You got to feel like the luckiest man in Shady Side. Absolutely, I do. I've had a, a real bad luck streak here lately for the past month and a half. And uh, we were trying to turn that around. Didn't want to win like that, but we on to the next round. Gonna run a chick magnet and try to get lucky again. Yes, I'm tired of interviewing Leslie Horn, the 2024's A-Gas champion. Definitely turn on a wind light, man. We're going to try our best. We're going to give it everything we got. We're going to leave everything on the table. is up next. Leslie Horn is going for his fifth straight win, the sixth of 2024. Rob Walden is attempting his first win. This is Stephen Smith. He's the swag man for the Southeast Gassers Association. Stephen, what can people get to support the Southeast Gassers? Hey man, just get anything with that logo on it. I mean, we got Hot Wheels coming out next year, big deal. Uh, hats here that Lee just showed you, shirts, banners, stickers, uh, put them on everything. Trying to get that word out and uh, make it a household name that everybody loves. I think everybody does love it. So. I think so too. SoutheastGasserGear.com, finals next. Leslie Horn, second half of the season, five straight wins, 2024, you're the champion, six wins total. It has been complete domination since halfway mark, all the way here to Shadyside. Yeah, it's been it's been good, uh, Lee. It's, uh, it started off a little 
Well, we went to Brainerd, and I had tried something new with the car, and I didn't realize what I'd done. I pulled too much oil out of the engine. The car went really fast, but uh, then I come to Shady Side and we blew up, and I had to borrow Chase's engine, you know, to even make a couple of rounds. And then from there, Gene, Stacy, and all of them, they fixed my motor, and it's been pretty much flawless since then. Um, you know, naturally we freshen it up, but we freshen it up a good bit. It's, you know, we don't just put it in there all season. I mean, I, I think we'd have been through it three times this season already for 10 races. Um, but it's just, I try to stay on top of the maintenance because I think that's the biggest thing. Uh, Ram clutch, I mean, they help me stay on top of my maintenance of the, of the clutch. All that stuff just pays off. I mean, in the shop, you do all your work in the shop and you come here, you try to be flawless. If you drive, I know the car was there. I knew the car was the car to beat. And if I'd done my job and drove, it was going to be hard. So, and fortunately, I was able to drive decent tonight. Um, I, I got treated a little bit, but it was not enough to talk about on each one of them. So, everything was good. Congratulations on your win. Congratulations on your championship. Congratulations, Leslie. Sega is still alive and well. Your summary of a 2024 season as the new owner. I tell you, it's been great. We've had we fought weather all year, um, but then you go to like Gulfport, then you come here and you see all these fans and stuff. It just excites you. Makes you want to do a little half mile burnout or whatever. You know, it just it just gives you a little pump. But just to finish off the season here with these last two races with all these spectators and all these fans, it's been huge. And then you get people, you know, like you, Monday morning race and everybody out here filming and recording and taking pictures. It's just awesome, dude. It's just an awesome feeling. I, re I recommend everybody come and join in. Let's have a big 2025. We need some more A-gas cars. Y'all bring them on. Let's do it. Sega, alive or well into 2025.